This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 5, verse 17, and it reads, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The tabernacle of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Aquaf, and Shalom to the 144,000. You see the title of the lesson here, man. All right now, a lot of you, Jake, especially you men, and even some of you women too, all right? But this don't got nothing to do with you women. But a lot of you men out there, you're going to have a problem with this lesson here, man. There was an order that was given, I want to say a few weeks now. It was given through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, right? For all you brothers that are out there, right? If you have a great millstone camp in your area and you're giving double honors in your videos, you need to report in to that camp, period. You know, now Jake may, you know, come up with all kind of, you know, bugged out excuses on why and all of that, right? The order was given through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You see, and this happened because we had some guy, right, uh, what was his name, Gabar Dama, right, that nut job. What he did was he was going around the congregation stealing money, right, from the brothers that were like affiliate camps, you see, and that never would have happened, right, if brothers, right, would have been in communication with the heads of the camp. You see, so the order has been given for you brothers out there, right, to, to report to the head of that camp. Now, if you don't want to do so, stop giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Because it sounds like you're not being, well, you know what, you're not being sincere, man. If you're giving double honors to the elders and apostles, but you're not listening to the elders and apostles, you're doing whatever the hell you want to do. As a matter of fact, let me see here, man. Because scriptures say what? Let everything be done decency and in order. You know, this going to be a real quick lesson. And I know, you know, a lot of you cry baby ass individuals out there. Like, I don't got it. Uh, right now. No one ever said that because you're not a part of Great Millstone that, you know, that you're not a part of the elect. We never said that. But when something happens to your crazy ass, don't come hollering and, and crying to us. When all hell break loose, right, stay the hell away from us. You see that when you find yourself in a jam, don't reach out. Don't ask us to pray for you or none of that, man. Second Thessalonians 3 and 6. Now, I com now we command you, brethren... In the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye would draw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly and not after the traditions which he received of us. You see, and I wanted to <clears throat> bring this out here, man, because a lot of you brothers out there are walking disorder, man. You know, very disorderly. You don't want to listen to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Fine. Stay the fuck away from us. You see? Stay away from us. Let's read this too. 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Let all things be done. What? Decency and in order. You see that? So again, right? There was an order that was given. It was given. You know, it was, and, and this is why right, I did my last video. Right? Bug out. So I'm going to increase, man, in these times. A lot of you individuals that are giving double honors and doing your videos and all of that, right? But you won't listen. You you won't even listen. <laughs> you know? 
That's like you going out on a job and saying, yeah, I can do the job, but yet you get to the job and don't do nothing that the job tell you to do. What do you think they're going to do to you? They're going to get rid of your crazy ass. So again, right, you individuals going to look at this thing and be like, well, it was it's a, just a man, right? You don't realize that everything happens through the spirit of the Lord, man. You see, even me doing this video right now. So yeah, man, the order was given. You don't want to be in order. That's fine. Stop giving double honors to the men that you learn from. Because what it is, is you false flagging. You know, there's a lot of guys out there, you know, not being, you know, just, you know. See, when you, using a worldly example, when you, let's say there's a local gang in your neighborhood, right? And then this is a badass gang. All right, and then you, you know, going around acting like you part of the gang. What you think they're gonna do to you? All right, what do you think they're gonna do to you? You see that they're gonna, uh, yeah, man, you're false flagging. So you individuals that that simply refuse to come under the order again, you're just a bug out, and you're false flagging and stay the hell away from us, man, and stop giving double honors. Period. First Corinthians four nine. For, for I think that the Most High have sent forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to, appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. You see that? So, yeah, man, the apostles, they're here in the last days, are they not? This is why a lot of you guys are giving double honors to the apostles. You see, so if the apostles are here in the last days, and you so-called claim that you believe in Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, right? Why not subject yourself under the men that you're learning from? Let's go ahead and grab another scripture, man. I'm going to keep them rolling. You know, this ain't going to be nothing deep, but the order was given. It was given. It was given. And you individuals that are out there, man, you just... Sirach 3 and 24, many are deceived by their own vain opinion. I want to read this precept here because a lot of you individuals, you think, well, you can do what the hell you, I, I can do what I want to do, right? So there are a lot of people out there that are deceived by their own opinion, you see? And an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. You see that? So all you individuals, I'm just going to say it, man. All you individuals out there that don't, that don't want to listen to the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone, you better examine yourself, man. You do. You better examine yourself. You giving double honors, but yet you don't want to listen and come under the order? You know how long it took me? You know how long and all the shit that I had to go through to be a part of Great Millstone, man? See, Great Millstone is a vetting camp. You have to be vetted in this thing, man. And a lot of you individuals out there, you just don't want to come under the order. You want to do whatever the hell you want to do. Now, you don't want to be vetted. So you individuals out there, you try to be deep. You know, learn a few precepts from the apostles. But, 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 how you're so nuts and bugged out, you won't listen to what they're telling you to do. That'll never, that's never going to make sense to me. You know, you again, you're going to have people out there, well, all right, and shut the hell up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth, right, an excuse according to his will. That's right. So a lot of you individuals, you're going to find some stupid ass excuse on why you don't want to come under the order. Oh, it's too far or or it's too this or, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't have to be a part of great myth, though, right? Well, do us all a favor and stop giving double honors, period. And all those breakdowns that you learned, unlearn them. You know, now, again, I'm not saying that because if you're not a part of Great Millstone, that you're not in the truth. You know, because nowhere in the scriptures does it say, you know, that, you know, if you're not a part of Great Millstone, you're not in the truth. You know, but... Again, man, it's about order, man. Everything is about order. And Jake don't want to come under order. Just like, you know, just like these people that we're dealing with. The average two-thirds. Let's read another uh, precept here, man. 
I'm not going to keep this lesson long. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Two are better than one. What does that mean, man? Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. You see, so it's 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 better to have, it's better to be in a group, man, than to be out there bugging out. Believe you me, right? You know, not out there bugging out, but out there by yourself. Believe you me, I know what it's like to be out there by myself. And it's far better to be teaching with brothers, man. And you say, let's keep going here. For, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone. You see that? And what the hell does woe mean? That means death unto you, man. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. You see? <laughs> Again, if two lie together, then they have, have heat. But how can one be warm alone? You see, and going back to the point, you know, there was an order that was given. It was. It was given. And you could try to ignore it, not like it, it you know. Yeah, man, because a lot of people out there are very quiet about it. You know, so again, you individuals that find yourself out there and all that, you know, the moment you go off, the moment you go off, Right. This is why I'm glad to be a part of Great Millstone, because we're a body and I'm, I'm going to grab that scripture there, man. Matter of fact, scriptures talk about, you know, how we're one body. I'm not going to grab it. How we're one body. You know, scriptures also talk about how we should be perfectly joined together. You see, come on, man. You know. And of course, you know, you have some individuals out there. Well, what about Abraham and, and, uh, and Lot? Right. But that was all through the spirit for that to happen. The spirit. Right. Told the apostles for you brothers to come. Come on in. You know, so don't, don't try to be too deep, Jake. Let's grab another precept here, man. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to shut it down. You know, just, just something, you know, real quick. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse five, examine yourself. That's right. You're supposed to examine yourself, man. So if you don't want to come under the apostles, you need to examine yourself, period. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. You see, prove your own selves. Know ye not that your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah is in you, except ye be reprobates. That's right, man. And you individuals out there, you better examine yourself, man. Examine it. We just had we had just had a situation out there. When you had this dude here, let me see here. Where he at? This dude here, he going off. You know, hanging with other bug outs. See? If you're hanging with other bug outs, you're gonna bug out. And believe you me, when you go off on your doctrine, we're gonna be right there. Right? To to, to put our foot in your ass spiritually, man. And it go for all of us, man. You know? Better examine yourself, Jake. I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down, you know. Uh, let's read this here. I'm going to skip some of these. First Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Likewise, ye younger. You see that? I'm considered a younger. Submit yourselves unto the who? Unto the elder. You see that? So if you're doing something content, if you don't want to submit to the elders, right, then, then what the hell does that say about you? That means you're not listening to the scriptures. Ye, all of you, be subject one to another. Can somebody explain to me what the scripture means? Huh? And be clothed with humility. You see that? What does that mean? For the most high, resist with the proud and give of grace to the humble. You see, and a lot of you individuals out there, you guys don't want to be humble. You know, you want to do whatever you want to do. Scriptures talk about a child left to himself. I think I roughly paraphrased that. You know, and you're going to end up like this dude here, man. Come on the comment boards acting crazy. I seen some dude come on the comment board. He was like, uh, matter of fact, I think I got the screenshot. I believe I do. Let me see here. And, you know, some dude came on the comment board talking about Tampa Bay Brothers going off. Let me see here. Where he at? Yeah. 
This dude right here, uh, let me see, uh, uh, 144 elect, I bar Yahawada as a demon. Watch the Tampa Bay, uh, watch Tampa Bay recent video. Now, I wanted to, you know, yeah, man. Now, this guy here, I bar Yahawada, right, he was, he was told to come under the, uh, under the order. You see, but, you know, the Tampa Bay, uh, Tampa Bay brothers went in on his ass. You see, because a lot of you individuals, you don't want to come under that order. You don't want to. But it's all good, though. You know, scriptures say let everything be done decently in order. So if you're not coming, if if you're not coming in a spirit of order, then then, you know, it, it's a sifting going on right now, man. Scriptures say Satan desire to sift you. So if you don't want to come right and be protected under under uh, under a under a government, because that's what we are, man. Right, we're all about being in order, man. You know, everything is about order. And I'm gonna say something else too. All you, you know, you brothers and few sisters that are out there, right? Please stop calling me an elder. I am not an elder. I am not. I am just a, a faithful servant. All right, you want to see the elder of my camp? Let me see here. Let me show you the elder of my camp. This is the elder of my camp, man. And I feel like I got to do this. Let me see here. Let's see. Let's find the elder of my camp. All you, all, you know, all you got to do is just type up a, 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 a matter of fact. Let me see here, man. When it comes to. uh, Let me see. I'm probably going to have a really, really, really difficult time finding it, but. Because I got so many stupid ass comments coming from a bunch of nobodies. Let me see here. But uh, if I can find my elders channel and bear with me, I didn't know I was going to do all of this. Let's see here. Um, I know it's coming up. Here it is right here. This is my elder, man. Okay, y'all. Hold on. This is my elder. Let's see if he. It's Elder Ayashar of the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp. And you brothers and few sisters should definitely subscribe. I ain't going to find it that way. I know how I'm going to find it. I got you, Elder. Hold on. Slock you, Elder. <laughs> Please forgive me, Elder. Let me see here. Please forgive me. Oh, my goodness. Now is my phone bugging out. Okay. Let's got Damn it. Let me see here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can go to the live lessons. This is my elder right here, man. Let me see. See this? See this guy right here, man? This is the elder of the camp. Elder ISR. See? And then we have a priest, too. And I feel like I got to do this video like this, man. Let me see if I can find a priest. All right? There's the priest here. There's the priest of the camp. You see? And then you have a, a, a second in line, which is uh, the brother of uh, 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 Tazamak. Tazamak the bar. Shlakia. You know, the rest of us brothers, you know, there. look, there's me back there. <laughs> see that? There's me back there, man. You know, so I am not an elder. I am just a humble servant, man. You know, but the point is, Right, it's all about order. You see, and you brothers refuse to come under the order, man. So what does that say? Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and close out, and you know, slocky for the lesson being kind of you know blotchy, but it's all good. You know, Jake, Jake likes content. You see, let's read this right here. This is the book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 38. I have sent you to reap that uh, that whereupon ye bestow no labor. Other, other men labor, and ye are entered into their labors. You see that? And I want to read this here, man, because we have entered into other men's labors. You see that? So when you try to come up some other way and, you know, try to, you know, do your own thing, that lone wolf, you know, spirit. Eventually, you're going to bug out. And we're going to be right there again on top of your ass to put a foot in your tail spiritually, man. Okay? 
So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel. Till next time, I say Shalom. If you don't want to come under the order, just stay the hell away from us and, and, and stop giving double honors. Shalom.